Hi, my name is Gail Banks Taylor. I'm the wife of Terry Taylor of 28 years, so silly, and the mother of Morgan and Patrick Taylor. I'd like to share my journey with you in hopes of encouraging some of you to be proactive in doing self-breast examinations and getting your yearly mammograms. In July of 2013, I had my regular breast exam and it, it came out clear. Everything was fine. They sent me the letter saying, um, everything looks great, we'll see you in a year. But in November of that same year, I noticed a lump forming in my breast. In February of 2014, I was diagnosed with invasive ductal carcinoma, cancer. When the lady told me, um, as I was sitting in the doctor's office, my first thoughts immediately went to my life scriptures. You know, the Lord had given me scriptures that, that have just walked me through my life. Um, Proverbs 3, where it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not into your own understanding, and all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will direct your path. And Philippians 4, where it says, Don't worry or fret about anything, but in everything, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto the Lord, and He will give you a peace that surpasses understanding. So immediately I was like, okay, Lord, I'm not going to lean into my own understanding. I'm not going to try to figure this thing out. And I'm not going to worry. I'm not going to fret. I'm not going to stress. I'm going to trust in you and I'm going to believe you for peace. And our faithful father, just he did just that. He gave me a peace. I came home and shared the news with my family. And they were shocked, of course. Um, but our father is so faithful with the support and love and care of family members, friends, um, my church family, with knowing that prayers were going up all the time, with receiving just calls of encouragement. All of those things helped us walk through this process. Um, I went through eight rounds of chemo. I went through 13 sessions of radiation. The Lord held me up. He sustained me. He strengthened me. His joy was my strength during that time. My family, the Lord kept them. He encouraged them. I can't express to you how important it was to have people around. So with that, I encourage you, whenever you're going through any kind of sickness or illness, let somebody know. There, there's strength in numbers. The, the Lord's love flows through us as a body towards each other. So let somebody know um, when you're going through. One year ago, yesterday, October 3rd, I was cancer free. Yay! Rejoice with me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And men, I want to also remind you that breast cancer is not just an illness that affects women. So I encourage you, everyone, be proactive in your own health.